Hello and welcome back to Dino Joe's Dinosaur Model Blog where today I'm going to be reviewing my Ceratopsian models. Ceratopsians thrive throughout the Cretaceous and are one of the most successful types of dinosaur. They are, they are some of my favourite types of dinosaur and I have many of these Ceratopsian models. I, ha my, I have several Triceratops models. Triceratops is one of the most famous dinosaurs and lived 65 million years ago and probably experienced the end of the dinosaurs. My first Triceratops model is by Papo. This model is quite accurate and has a nice paint job. Another of my Triceratops is by Wild Safari. This model has a nice green colour which I really like. It also has a nice pose but it could be a little bigger. My next Triceratops is by Desktop. The paint job is simple but quite realistic and the pose is quite static but the sculpt and detailing is brilliant including its many scoots and bumps. My fourth and final Triceratops is by Collector. This model has a dull grey colour and has an extremely large head. Another of my Ceratopsians is Taurosaurus, which may have been just a young Triceratops, as its skeleton was from the same place as Triceratops, and it lived at the same time. The collector model of it looks great. It looks very realistic and has a bright orange skin colour. My next Ceratopsian is Pachyrhinosaurus. I have three of these. The Papo Pachyrhinosaurus has a nice pose but could do with more colours. The Batat Pachyrhinosaurus is one of my favourite Ceratopsian models. It has great detail and great colours. My next Pachyrhinosaurus is by Wild Safari. This is a very accurate model and is very realistic as well. My next Ceratopsian model is Protoceratops. This was one of the first Ceratopsians and lived 40 million years before Triceratops. This model of it by GeoWorld is quite accurate, although it doesn't have the best paint job. As you can see, the paint for the teeth has spilt and its, eyes ye and its yellow eyes pa paint has also been a bit spilt as well. I have four Styracosaurus models. This first is by Kinto Favourite and is very accurate. The Papo Styracosaurus is a nice pink colour and once again for Papo has a great and interesting pose. The desktop Styracosaurus is a great, well-detailed model. However, its pose isn't very dynamic. Finally, the collector Styracosaurus is by far the best and has great detail and is the most accurate. I really like this model.
My next ceratopsian is Nasutoceratops. The first is by Wild Safari and has great detail including many scoots and bumps. My second Nasutoceratops is by Collector and is a lot smaller but more accurate and I prefer its paint coloration. Another ceratopsian is Vagaceratops. Vagaceratops lived in what is now Canada and grew to six meters long. The World Safari model of Vagaceratops is one of their best ceratopsians. It has a great orange colour and looks real. I also have two Ineosaurus models. One is by World Safari and is well detailed but has quite a dull coloration. The smaller collector Ineosaurus is much brighter and more colourful than the Wild Safari and also possibly more accurate. Another of my ceratopsians is Diabloceratops. Its name means devil horned face. The collector Diabloceratops looks good and has a brilliant pose. However, it is a bit unrealistic and out of proportion. It also has a very cartoony face. The World Safari Diabloceratops is more realistic but isn't as dynamic as the collector. One of my more unusual ceratopsian models is Xenoceratops. Xenoceratops means alien horned face. This dinosaur grew to six meters long and lived in Canada. The collector model of Xenoceratops is well sculpted and looks very realistic. It is nice when collector goes for the more unusual dinosaurs. My next model is Medusaceratops by Collector. This model has a great colour scheme and is a nice size. Another of my Ceratopsians is a Chelosaurus. This dinosaur grew to 4 metres long and lived in what is now the USA. This model isn't Collector's best Ceratopsian model and is one of their oldest models, which could explain its inaccuracy. Finally, my last Ceratopsian is Pentaceratops. This model by Schleich is among my favourite Schleich models and also one of my favourite Ceratopsian models. Its astounding colours stand out when it's with my other models. It also has a realistic and very dynamic pose. As well as that, it is also very accurate and is a brilliant model.